Alright, this is an any percent tutorial for Donkey Kong Country. This is just going to be the optimal route. Reflected did a new guide for any percent, which will show off some safe strats and the safe setup for the wrong warp. Uh, if I can find it, I will link it in the description of this video. If not, it should be on the DKC Wikipedia, which is at dkcspeedruns.com. So, first off, version differences, uh, what version you want kind of thing. 1.0 and 1.1 US version is what you want. You don't want the Japanese version and you don't want the 1.2 version of the game. Starting the timer is at the one player screen. See how we get right into it. So, 1-1. This is actually pretty difficult to do optimally with Donkey. I'm gonna do an extended roll here, extended roll here, and then this double extended roll. The Y press to get the double extended roll is um, tighter than it is with Diddy. It's the same input um, as you would with Diddy, but it is tighter to do. It'll take a while to get it consistently. So coming up, you can see I'm going to try and jump here, and Donkey kind of has this like thing where you can't like always jump right away. Like he'll get like stuck. So to avoid that, you press Y and then jump. <laughs> I don't know why, Donkey's just hard to control. Uh, with Diddy, you can roll over this chasm. With Donkey, you can't. <clears throat> so jump right at the end. Roll, roll, and then you beat the stage. Right here, you hold right and mash, and you can re-enter the stage. Basically the way it works is if... When you hold right coming out of a stage and it doesn't take you anywhere in the overworld, you cancel the animation of being taken to the next stage. And then I was able to re-enter this stage without having to do that. So just hold right and mash. Mash through the fanfare and then mash re-entering the stage. We're re-entering to grab the sparrow. I'm gonna start and select in midair, which is the start of the split up glitch. Um, this is needed for the wrong warp. It's actually a very minor thing, but it is needed. So we're gonna enter this stage to complete the split up glitch, which is getting hit over a chasm. You'll notice that there was no death sound. And um, Donkey's like, he stayed in this like one sprite. Basically the game is confused. Like it doesn't know who you are, so here I'll get hit. And then you have soft lock the game. That's what happens if you get hit over land when you have this glitch active. So now you're gonna do map warp gonna take me a billion tries because I'm doing a tutorial. Alright, there we go, third try. So, you want to come over here so that you see Mankey Kong, so that he changes directions. Uh, if you were to kind of go like this, and then jump up, his barrel would be waiting for you. So you go over here, wait for him to throw the barrel, and then roll through him. You do an extended roll, you tap Y and repress right away. If you don't do an extended roll, this is what happens. You die. If you don't wait long enough, the barrel's in your way. So, wait a little bit, but you don't have to wait that much. Jump on this guy, roll. Uh, again, you want to wait a little bit, or else the barrel will be in the way. If I jump right away, oh, well, obviously it's in the way there. But you do have to wait. Alright. So coming up, you have to get over this DK barrel. You can't grab it. Uh, there's two ways to go with this. You can either do a left-right wiggle and then jump over, or you can just let go of the D-pad and then jump over. I like letting go of the D-pad. I think it's the best method, but just find a method that you're comfortable with. Alright, coming up is called Sonkan. Place the barrel down there. 
And then what you're going to do... See if I try and jump on the head of that guy? The barrel doesn't bounce off of the corner. The objective is that the barrel is going to bounce off of the corner of this ledge. And I'm going to land on the barrel. Because you need to do that. You need to land on the barrel. Like be riding a barrel and then you press B when going past Expresso. What that does is it, let, it lets Expresso pick up the barrel. So I'll kind of just show it in fast motion and give you a little bit to work on here. You press B when you're over top of him, and he picks up this king. But the game never really thought that you would be able to do this. So the game's thinking, okay, Donkey has the king. <laughs> so if you let go of the Y button, uh, you, you get this. And then if you press Y, or if you press B, you're back on Espresso. So basically, it's a pretty lenient window but you have to jump on his tail. If you jump on the head of the claptrap, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work. But like, you just do that, press B, and it's really not that bad. It took us a while to realize that bouncing on his tail makes it like incredibly easier. We don't know why either, but just don't bounce on his head, bounce on his tail. So from here, when you take a steel keg through a halfway barrel, it turns into an invisible object. So now there's an invisible uh, steel keg under Espresso. Well, there was. That can happen. See, I was too close, and I the bounce was like landed here. So I actually didn't have the opportunity to get back on Espresso. This is something that you'll just have to get used to. So somewhere about here, see like even that failed. So like where you lay down the steel keg is important. I like it to be more around here. I like that, supposed to where it is right now. Anyways, get on here, go through the that. Don't grab the DK barrel, go underneath. Uh, you can run through this claptrap right here. And then here, um, say if I just come over here, la da da Whoa, I didn't open the bonus. Why is that? You have to wiggle left and right to load the bonus again for whatever reason. So just do a little wiggle there, and then open the bonus door. Um, your distance from the bonus matters where you release Y. If I release like over here, like too far away, It'll change the value, so when I try and wrong warp here, I'll be sent to the wrong position. If I open it too close, the same thing. It's really not like a precise distance. It's about half a donkey away. So about... Somewhere about like in this neighborhood is where you want to release and repress Y, which will cause you to open this bonus door with the invisible object. So wiggle, and you're in. So from here, you're gonna go up here, and you're gonna grab this. So you see that line right there where my mouse is? It's like in the right above the the exit. I use that as a visual cue, and I try to like in correlation with Donkey's feet. So you just you want to let go of the barrel as Donkey's feet are like right above the line. I think it's about two pixels that work. And then what'll happen is you'll throw the barrel against the wall and um, both of your Kongs will exit the bonus on the same frame. And this is why you needed the split up glitch. Uh, normally when you exit a level or a bonus or enter a bonus, the Kong you control would enter and then followed by your second Kong. But since we're controlling both of our Kongs at the same time, that's what the split up glitch is. We can get them to go through the bonus on the same frame, which sets the IDs to let us wrong work. 
Um, failing this, like if one Kong goes through, depending which one, you can either crash the game from giving it a negative value, or you can be sent back to 1-1 one, one on, on Expresso, like just coming out of the start of the level. So just throw, see that was, that was too high, that was too low. Kind of about there, I think that's good. Yeah, that was good. It's like right above that little line. That was too low. And this will just take some practice. And then, if done correctly, you'll be here. Alright, so bird stage. Um, this jump right here, you've got to get underneath them if you don't want to stop. And you can do the entire bird section without having to stop. The exit of this stage has changed because we do the super jump roll in Misty Mine. So we'll be grabbing a DK barrel at the end of this stage. Just follow what I do, it's really quite basic. To make it over these mincers, I jump like right as this slope ends, right about here. And just jump and flutter over, jump over this guy, jump again over these mincers, run under these mincers. Expresso's speed is the same in midair as it is on the ground. As long as you're holding Y, you're going at the same speed. So however you want to do this is fine. Like you could jump like this, like, like this, like you could you know, like, you could do whatever. Um, I think even, like, starting right here, you could do a huge flutter. And just make it over everything. I do, I start my flutter here. It really doesn't matter. So from here, we need to get up here. To grab this DK barrel. Um, the fastest method to do this is to jump right about here. One big jump, like as, as big as the jump as possible, and then dismount. That was kind of interesting. It looked like Diddy warped up there. I want to see if I can do that again. That was kind of interesting. Anyways, so you kind of come over here, jump, dismount, pick up the DK barrel, tap Y, repress. You tap so you don't grab the TNT barrel. And then repress afterwards and you roll through this naughty here. If you're not comfortable, you can do one little flutter. But I suggest learning the one jump method. Because it is the fastest way to do that. Tap, hold. Make it over the mincers. And you're out of 6-2. Um, the rest of the game is like all stages. So there's not really much more for me to show. I'll explain the super jump rule, and then that'll be it for the tutorial. You can find information for the rest of the game on the Wikipedia at dkcspeedruns.com. But that's pretty much the wrong word. That's what you gotta know. So, super jump rule. Roll, roll, get hit. Fastest way to lose Diddy and get storage. And then you want to, you can, it, throwing that DK barrel is actually like, you can kind of, you can like bounce on this guy with donkey and you'll feel like an idiot. So you want to kind of just throw that and get hit. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap Y. And when you get the jump roll, you're going to, when you get about here, you're going to tap Y again because you can extend it roll while in a super jump roll. Tap Y and hold right, and you'll bounce, you'll roll through the snake. And then when you get here, where you started the jump roll, you're going to repress Y. And you do this all while holding B. The super jump roll requires you to hold B. And then you'll fin you'll extendo here, which will make you low enough so that you roll through this snake that shoots out of here. And that gives you the fastest... Like, that gives you good speed. So here, I'll try and do it now. So I'm holding B, and then I tap Y. 
on the correct frame. Repress, and now you're flying. I'll pause the video and show you where I let go of B. There's a good visual cue. So that banana, the first banana, on the right of the halfway barrel, when that reaches the left end of your screen, you let go of the B button. And then you just hold right and Y throughout the rest of the stage and you'll land right at the end. You can do a fast exit through this exit because it is a mine exit and it will save some frames. And that's Misty Mine. The rest of the game is normal. Um, a couple things to note for this category is to practice the two bosses. You can lose quite a bit of time to RNG in Neki 2, like for any percent, like you can lose like half a second, which really does matter. Uh, look at look at the the video for the boss fight here. There is a video from Silent Wolf by Silent Wolf that um, shows what I call double hits. On the fourth and fifth cycle, if he spawns at the bottom, you can jump over top of two of his shots and land on his head for like an instant hit as soon as he opens up, and it saves quite it saves time. And practice King K rule, you really want to get those optimal hits in if you want to get a good time. As it stands, there's only about 1.4, 1.5 seconds over a pretty much perfect run in this game. So if you really want to compete for a record time, you need to get your boss fights down. Anyways, I hope that helps, and have a good one.